I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to create pineapples that explore the principle of design contrast. Let's make some art! We're going to begin our pineapples by drawing the pineapple's body first and then the top. You're going to start off by drawing a large curved line. Next, down one side in different sections, draw zigzag lines. So as you can see, we'll do it on this side as well. You'll do zigzag lines and then straight, zigzag lines, straight, zigzag lines, straight, just like that. Next, at the bottom, we're going to draw two ovals. Then we're going to connect the body. And you can also draw a parallel line around it, just like that. That will just make it look a little bit more 3D. Okay. In the body, in the bottom half, you're going to draw two long U shapes that are on a diagonal facing inward. Next, we're going to draw the face for our pineapple and we're gonna do it lower down on the body. On one side, you're going to draw a circle and you're going to draw a similar sized circle on the other side. Next, you're going to color in that circle, leaving just a small white circle in there. And you're gonna do it on both eyes, just like that. Next, between the eyes, we're gonna draw a nice, long, straight line. And then we're gonna make a nice, deep U-shape. Just like that. Next, we're gonna draw a line that curves in from the side and across. And then you're gonna color the rest of the mouth in with your mark making medium, whatever you have chosen to use. Okay, I'm now gonna add some zigzag lines here and there to create the different sections of my pineapple. Just like that. Now we're going to do the pineapple's top. For the pineapple's top, we're going to draw a nice tall kind of triangular shape toward the top of the page. And at the bottom, we're gonna add two curving leaves or two curving triangular shapes. And then we gotta do another one above the first one. And then just two little triangles poking out at the top. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna add a line up the middle of each for texture. And now, this guy is ready to be either colored with complementary colors or painted. And we're gonna be using complementary colors today. And the reason why we're using complementary colors is because we want to create contrast, 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 contrast. And complementary colors help us create contrast. I'm going to begin by painting the background but if you don't have paints at home, again, you should use whatever art mediums you have or like to use. Purple and yellow are complementary colors, so I'm going to do a purple background, and of course, my little pineapple here is yellow, so that will help create contrast um, in my art piece and will help my viewers look at the pineapple.
once your background is painted or colored, you can then use your medium to fill in the foliage. Last, I'm going to fill in my pineapple's body. And of course that will be yellow. And it's a very, very, uh, a much brighter color than the background. So it helps attract my viewers or audience's eye to this part first. And then they realize that it's a pineapple because then they'll move up, look at the green, and they won't notice the background as much because all the attention will we put our emphasis, will we put on my pineapple one to do with size and scale because it's the largest subject in my art piece, but also the colors are used, are contrast or high contrast colors. So they're bringing my viewers eyes directly there and keeping them there. And that is the power of using your principles of design in your artwork. I'm also going to add a little bit of orange around the feet there, a little bit underneath some of those zigzaggy lines that I added. And that's just going to bleed and blend and add a little bit of um, texture and character to my pineapple. Once you're done coloring in your pineapple, your art piece is completed. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers, find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.